<laughs> so what's going to happen with Quentin and Alice's relationship going into the new season? Because they're still not exactly on great terms. They're on okay terms to fight the Beast, but uh, their awkward encounter towards the end of the season has left them not quite the same. It's a broken relationship. Uh, and there are two people who are very angry at each other for what they did, um, and who are both trying to find active ways to get themselves through it, I think, and also repair it. Yeah, I think there's a lot of self-preservation, and they're just trying to get through the task at hand. I mean, there's, for me, for Alice, there's a lot of not wanting to do with this. And, and these two characters are, you know, they're like magnets, and, they, and they, they love each other and they hate each other at the same time. Like, a lot of great passionate relationships, and, and I think no matter what, they're always brought back to each other, but they don't quite know how to handle it. Yeah, this season has felt like, especially these first couple of episodes, where the true is like this magnet analogy of these two magnets that are like wanting to be together, but these two people are just like pushing yeah. them apart. Um, yeah, that's the feeling. Yeah. In the book, um, Alice is actually supposed to be dead, but with the, char- with the producers, they kept you and your character alive for the show. Did they tell you anything about her, like what they have planned for her? Like, I mean, beforehand, like, okay, just so you know, this is going to happen, she's going to be fine. You know, when I when I got the script, the pilot, and I fell in love with it, and I read the books, and I loved Alice so much, that was one of my questions to them, is I knew the fate of her at the end of the first book, and they... They said they weren't sure, but at the time nobody knows what they're going to do. And um, I knew signing on no matter what, I love this character. She dies, she dies. It didn't matter to me. But um, I think what they've done with it is, is fascinating and awesome and a great thing we get to explore and something that I don't think the fans are expecting. And I'm, I'm excited about it. I'm excited about it. Thanks. <laughs> if you had any um, character traits that you shared with each of your characters, what would those be, or if there are any that you wish you had yourself? Outside of the magic. <laughs> That's an easy one. Hmm. Oh! There's something about this kind, the kind of people who can learn magic in this world uh, that uh, they're able to focus on something in a way that I am unable to. Uh, people who can sit down and work on one problem until it's done. Um, I am a little bit more scattered and need to be working on one more thing at once. So that, there's something about that kind of brain that I envy, uh, but also seems torturous. So, uh, yeah, I wouldn't want to be like that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I relate to Alice. I mean, she's awkward. I get that part of her. I don't. <laughs> uh, <laughs> But I, I love her, her, she's so determined in life and the things that she sets out to do, she wants to do, and, and she's incredibly intelligent. I don't think I'm as book smart as Alice would probably be, um, but I'd like to be. I don't want to do the magic. So you guys shared most of the scenes together last, last season. Are we going to see more of you guys apart and explore your relationship with Penny since something happened between the two of you? And explore your relationship with Margo and Elliot since something happened between you three? <laughs> the YouTube. Are we going to maybe see more no, exploration I'm apart from each other? I mean, when we all apart from each other. Oh, ha, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's uh, especially the beginning of the season. It's much more ensemble based. Uh, we thrust these people all into one room with one problem, and so they are all trying to solve it together. Um, we will begin to crack, crack, uh, what's the word? Break off, whatever. <laughs> Fracture off uh, into our uh, separate parties eventually. And what that is, I can't talk about. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, we get to deal with real life problems on the show and what happened in our relationship and what happened with Penny and I. So that's, that's what we get to deal with, and that's what, why we like the show. Is, is, you know, it's one of those things just got to be so that's the kind of stuff that we want to explore the show and have these people grow from this. Will we see maybe a triangle with Julia as well since she's single? No. Like a love triangle? Yeah, or, or any, or, or, or kind of like the email love triangle. Because she's trying to be part of this 
Yeah, Julie's She's not bad. <laughs> I'm uninterested in sexual love. I, I think that she is involved in, this, in, in their lives, certainly, and has influence there, and they are bound to each other. Have either of you read the novels, the books, or do you plan? Oh, okay. Had you read them before you were cast, or was it one of those um, gotta do it now? I, yeah, I got the script for the pilot and loved it, and then went and read the books once I got cast. Okay. I, mean, I started reading the first book and I didn't want to keep reading until I knew it was for certain because I was heartbroken. Yeah. Do it, but yeah. Yeah, no involvement here. Yeah, I think I think we all had a similar process of we uh, were introduced to them through the audition process and then through the process I think we became very quick and rapid fans. Um, and and part of like the casting process it became like it suddenly became very important to me that we be honoring this thing that I just fell in love with. Um, and so it's like had the uh, the benefit and the gift of like being able to talk to the creatives about that and like sit down and say, like, what do what do we love about this? Um, and we were all on the same page about what we were drawn to and the kind of story that we wanted to tell. And being led by Mike Cahill, uh, you know, the pilot was like, kind of special. Uh, uh, significant setting the tone. Did, the, did it influence you and how you represented your characters by reading the book? Or did you want to kind of still bring your own particular edge to the characters? For me, I want to, I want to be the best Quentin. I want to, I, I, I love who he is uh, in the books, and I want to represent that as, as clearly and as responsibly as possible. Um, uh, with the knowledge that like we all have our own filters, uh, with which we take in information and read things and things that we're drawn to. So my point is different than your point is different than your point. Um, so I'm doing my very best version of him, uh, but he is inspired 100% by this. Yeah, we're doing we, well. We read books on set and we're very, very big fans of what Matt did with them. And it's our own interpretation, but we try our best to stick to the books and how we feel about it. You know, we're fans of the books as well, so it's fans mainly the show. So often, you know, when you're shooting a scene, you feel lost. And yeah. You know exactly what you're doing. We have the benefit of having these books to flip back to. Right? Like, oh, right. This is the feeling. This is where they are. And then to bring that to the series. It's wonderful. It's a great Real good.